Hi! So the Los Angeles luxury housing sector has done a complete 180 from the beginning of shelter-in-place orders until now. And as a reminder, the luxury home sector in Los Angeles is all homes above 1.5 million. The luxury housing market in Los Angeles had pretty much come to a halt by about mid-April, and it looked like that wasn't going to change until 2021. The expected market time went up to its peak of 469 days. And again, the expected market time is from when you hammer the for sale sign in the yard all the way until you get an accepted offer and open up escrow. Yet the market slowly began improving after bottoming out in April in every price sector, including luxury. The luxury market was revived on the backs of increased confidence in Wall Street, an ultra low mortgage rate environment, and the importance of home that people refound during the pandemic. In taking a closer look at the luxury market, the expected market time has now dropped down to 138 days. Now that may seem high in comparison to the overall Los Angeles housing market, which is at 51 days expected market time, but it's actually incredibly strong. And in fact, it's at its low for 2020 thus far. The luxury market has dramatically improved and it's not because fewer luxury homeowners are placing their homes on the market. That's actually the case for the non-luxury sector it's because demand has skyrocketed. Pending sales have increased 336% over the past few months, and that's the highest demand reading for the luxury market in years. Now, it's still important to note that homes in the upper end still take a lot longer to sell than those in lower ranges. Multiple offers and a steady stream of buyers just aren't as common. This is simply because there are fewer buyers that can afford the higher priced homes. It all comes down to supply and demand. The lower ranges do not have enough supply and demand is through the roof. For the luxury market, the pool of potential buyers shrinks due to pricing constraints and there's a little bit more seller competition. For luxury sellers, if the price isn't compelling, the home isn't selling. When the home is well priced, it attracts attention. As in all price ranges, success is determined by motivation. Many luxury sellers claim that I don't have to sell in order to rationalize their asking price. They stretch their asking price and the home sits on the market, generating very little activity and no offers. Sellers who are motivated price their homes based on the fair market value, and they're not afraid to listen to the market and adjust their asking price if necessary. In sum, Los Angeles County's luxury housing market is back and it's extremely robust. And while it's not quite as hot as the housing market in the lower ranges, it's the best it's been in years. If you have any questions about the Los Angeles luxury housing market, please don't hesitate to reach out.